guys. Boo you. Okay, so as promised, I am going to be getting around to creating this PK commentary. So, of course, I did say that I would actually be using the Dragon Mace. Oh, no. Right, I was going to actually buy two of them, but obviously I can't really stockpile them. But if I die, I'll come back and buy another one. But to keep this introduction short, I'm just going to be doing some basic Whip 2 Dragon Mace. If I go over my stats, I'm 72 attack, 93 strength, 72 defense, 84 hit points. Pretty low, but whatever. And I have um, piety, so... Let's go, hopefully the Dragon Mace can do as good as the last time it did, but we'll see what happens, so... Hope you enjoy this commentary, guys. It's another usual day in the wilderness, uh, there's not many people at my level, there is a few, but then you just find a level 9 with a uh, retribution above his head, just casually standing there, you know, waiting for a level 3 to come and try and kill him, and then, well, level 9 or whatever to try and kill him, and then the retribution one-hits him, that'd be pretty interesting. Okay, we've got ourselves our second fight. So, a lot of you are just going to realise that I've actually said second fight while I start. Oh, brilliant start to that. 41. Oh, I can't get a three hit. I could get a three hit if I hit. Recoil Ring is going to do it for me. I can. Oh, I could whip that health. But yeah, I've said second fight. I think when I make my PK commentaries now, I'm going to try and keep track of the number of fights that I have throughout it so people can actually know that. Okay, he's going for it. Don't hit a 37. <sighs> Wouldn't have been happy with that one. Took a risk there, obviously. He could have hit it, but. I was hoping that he wouldn't. But yeah, this is my second time fighting this guy. First fight, he actually completely outslayed me. Like, his hits were... Even though I have a glory on and he's got a strength on, his hits were absolutely destruction. I was getting absolutely slayed by them. Constant 30s, constant 40s, and I just... Well, mainly not, not really many 40s, but just so many, like, 28s and stuff that I was just constantly eating. So it's difficult to actually keep up with the fight. But anyways, I'm 46 health, so I need to be careful. And his next hits, he's most likely going to pull the DDS out if he hits something... Decently, I'm 42, so I can probably get whipped. Now, it looks like I've saved so badly, but I'm 62 health. Right, I'm not going to switch to Lash because it does the job for... Oh, no, he's Redbot! No, don't waste the specs. He's got a triple eat in there, so it'll be like on 60... Oh, I would have actually got the spec in there. I knew he was Redbot. You can just... You can, I can always tell. I thought he was dead, and then I could just... Oh, I just had that feeling. I saw that he's Redbot. Anyway. Now, this guy is Skulled in Darks against a guy not Skulled in Darks. Why does that never happen to me? Obviously, I don't Darok, but when I do Darok, no one's going to do that. It's, oh, it's going to be bad times. If this guy dies, I feel pretty unlucky for him because that guy who's unschooled has obviously been a bit of a worm. I've got the first hit. KO. Oh, why did I eat? Why did I eat? That could have been a mace time. That would have been a lovely kill. Assuming he died, which, knowing me, probably wouldn't have died. But, yeah, anyways, I'm sure I had a topic going at the start of this fight that I've just completely forgotten about. I think this actually turned around now. I think I'm the one getting the hits. So, yeah, let's wait. Right, let's go for it. This will be like a 50 if it hits. Oh, 47! What I'm talking about. Good fight, man. Beautiful. That is just, that's what I was looking for. What a kill. Right there. I'm going to pick up the Addy Boots now, because the last time I killed someone for Addy Boots, I forgot, and it wasn't good. But, yeah, anyways, good fight, man. It was a nice spec there, so definitely no complaints with that fight. However, what was I going to say? Something to do with um, Lash. I'll say this now before I actually run down. I used to switch to Lash to try and get a KOing hit, I've stopped doing that now because if I leave it on flick, it tends to combo more and actually get me that hit more often rather than put me on the 1 HP. Like, that, fair enough, when I 1 HP'd him, if it was Lash, that could have killed him. But I tend to feel like if I stick on flick, it's kind of good. So, yeah, you will um, notice that I don't do that anymore. I do still swap to the strength mode for the specs, though I believe the damage in the specs is kind of necessary. Look how tragic my bank... Okay, this is the good part of my bank. But, yeah, all these other PKers making videos probably just with... Hundreds of mils in the bank and I'm so poor. I can't even afford my Barrow's gloves in a way. I hope I don't actually die for them. But yeah, anyways, I'm pretty much commentating all the way back to the wilderness. So if it was busy enough for me to run straight in and get another fight, I'd probably commentate all the way. But yeah, I'll be back in a second when I have another fight, guys. But brilliant, that's the perfect first kill I'm looking for. So hopefully the rest of the video can hold strong as well. It's worth a try. Skull darker, two combat slower. He's got vengeance as well. No fire kit, which is quite surprising for someone to actually have vengeance. But he's obviously skulled in Darok, so... I'm risking maybe a sixth or so of him if he protects the plate body, loses about um, one point summit mil, and then I have about 1.2 mil or something, I'm risking about 200k-ish or something, so highly doubt he'll fight me, but obviously he does have the superior stats, he doesn't appear to be there, but it's always worth the try to act. This guy, that is an absolute pitiful performance, just unlucky that you've been caught on video around, it tabs right after that guy was going for the turn round. Anyways, he appears to be... Ignore. Oh, 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 it's an absolutely disgraceful performance. What is, this guy is just destroying everyone here with his protection. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, 43 prayer. Just let down now on the protection. This guy's ignoring me, so therefore I believe he does not wish to fight. So I could rematch this guy. Rematch. 
I'm not sure actually. Let's see if he wants to. I don't think he'll score. You might have to get a score. I'll be back in a second when I've got a new fight. Okay, we've got ourselves our next fight. And I have one question for you all right now to answer. Do you always have your potions attack, strength, defense? Just for the um the kind of like things that the O C D thing that everyone seems to have. Like I put I do it as well, but oh I should not have eaten there. Actually, I should have done because I could have if I I could have falsely lured myself into a um a feeling of safety there and just completely KO'd myself, but yeah, that could have been a nice free hit. But yeah, I mean, attack, strength, defense, it has to be that order. If you don't put it in that order, you're just a worm. That's just a question. How many of you also just seem to have to put it in the order of attack, strength, defense? And I think the reason would be because attack, strength, defense, that would probably be the reason. Otherwise, there is no reason to it, I guess, but that's just what I tend to do. So, obviously, you have to ignore the fact that I didn't actually have it in that order before actually beginning this fight, so... Yeah, that's caught catching me out off guards there. But yeah, anyways, let's uh, just go get into this fight. So I'm not really hitting much. One Quran, one down, which is quite bad. So that's a bit of a safe, actually. I'm sorry for that one. That was a bit of a safe. But I, I have to understand that we're in a fight where vengeance, actually, neither of us has vengeance. So it's quite safe to sit on certain health. Auto retaliate does the work. Zero. Yeah, he's got bruised now. He's been safe about it. So I don't think he'll brew now. So I could. Ah, oh. see, I had a feeling. I didn't knock him down to low enough health. I didn't think he'd brew. Which would put him on about eh, 45 HP. Go on, whip! Come on! Oh, Best thing, the best thing in PK is in a smite fight, when you whip and they, they rock tape, they shark brew, and it puts them down to health points where. Oh, and again, Dragon Mace doing the job. I always type HG like a worm. But yeah, I'm going to quickly finish off that sentence I was trying to say, but the best feeling is when you're in a smite fight and that person sharks and then Saradom in brews. And then you, it comes back from that because of the delayed loop, and then the delayed um, like time, and then um, from that you just come back and then bam, you do it again. It's just like, oh, if you know what I mean. I think I just completely said the wrong thing there, but just like when you hit 38, they shock and then they brew, and then you know, hit 38, and then you hit again like a 31, and it's just like their prayer points are going down. You know you're about to get a whip. Good fight anyway, man. Oh, not super poisoned. Okay, so we've got ourselves our. Fifth, fourth fight, I actually believe this one is. The fifth fight, I think. But yeah. Anyways, we're fighting this guy. I'm actually going to be legsing off for this fight. So if he gives me a second to be um, able to do that. Now, a lot of people do ask me, why do I take my plate legs off in a fight? I believe he will smite fight me because I have no plate legs on. He thinks he could, well, he will probably out hit me with combos and all that. Which means that he thinks he can probably have a much more chance of smiting my whip. Puts him in a, a, a false sense of security. Hopefully I can smite his whip. Because I don't know if he's ever been in a smite fight before. So his prayer is dropping like ridiculously fast. He may forget. And you never know. Abyssal whip PK on a video would be quite nice. So I haven't actually seen a prayer pot yet. If I can hit soon. It'd be, yes, that's perfect. His prayer might actually... No, oh, there's a prayer pot. That's a brew. I can't tell. I mean, he's lower level. So he's going to have a lot less HP. That was a prayer pot right now. Okay, his prayer's high. I mean, I'm not really going for the smite in general. The odds of smiting a whip is... At this combat, it's tough, but his health is so low, I can outwit his health. Come on. Oh, KO'd. Dead. Recall, yeah, okay. Good fight, man. Recall ring hit a zero on me, so I can tell that he was dead. So, don't think I'm going to get much off him. Rune legs. Oh, Dragon Dagger super poisoned. Quite nice. And an Amulet of Glory. So, yeah, just want to say again, that is the reason I take my plate legs off for people. They're a lower combat level. Now, fair enough, 96 isn't that much lower, but if, a fight, if that is the difference between me getting a fight or not, I don't mind at all. I will happily take my plate legs off and fight the person. Obviously, if the fight's completely biased, I'm not going to do it. And if I'm going to get killed, well, if I'm going to get destroyed in a way, I'm not going to do it. But yeah, in a fight like that, kind of think it'd be in a way fair. So good fight, man. And we should be back in a second with another fight. Video's going great. So I hope you're all enjoying this. Okay, we've got ourselves our next fight. Now, this guy's actually level 95, but he asked me to fight. So I don't really think I have to take my plate legs off for him. So it should be um, hopefully an interesting fight. Now obviously he has 350 whatever bloody defense bonus full darks has these days. So it might be a very long winded fight. I hope I can keep the commentary to be interesting. That 31 is actually quite nice. Didn't eat there. But yeah, I may possibly run. I don't know why I'm rushing specs. But whatever. If that was like a 42, it would have been nice. But yeah, um, you know what? This is 07. I'm rushing specs. If I get a, if I get a good time to spec, I'm going to take that spec. Unless I'm going to like two hit someone. Go on, flick. Do it for me. Ah, oh, this is bad. But yeah, um, obviously he's in dark, so I don't think I can actually smite out a helm. It's kind of tough because this guy's obviously, I think he broods and he's just repotting his super pots now. But yeah, it's quite tough to knock down a dark. He's like, okay, 47, 47. I'm going to risk this as well. The axe is more scary. Right, okay. Ooh, what the hell? Get on there. Yeah, I'm not going to switch to Lash at all. I think with a dark, uh, Accuracy by far over power against one of these, especially in a smite. I think in a smite fight, it's all about accuracy. If you can stack some accuracy and damage together, 
basic amount of damage. Like, when I make my Initiate Pure, I want to have as high attack as possible. I'm literally, the reason I'm making my Initiate Pure, which I've not started working on, by the way, like, it's... Whoa, okay. I need to calm down here a bit now. And we're not... We're good, okay. Yeah, the reason I'm actually making my initiative pure is because I think around that combat level, whatever level it would be, what would it be? It'd be maxed out like 100 or so combat. I died. Good fight. I've actually worked out, this guy's about to die to a strange plant as well, but I've actually worked out, I'd say about 65% or 70% of my deaths are to Darox, but that was a nice kill. I, obviously, that was really nice. But yeah, like I said, my initiative pure, if I make that account, it's actually around the, it's going to be around this time where some rune pures are getting their whips. I think that's just easy smites, in my opinion. Initiate pures, massive offense, constantly comboing. I think I could smite quite a few whips, hopefully. So that's the reason I'm making that account. But yeah, anyways, good fight to you there, mate. See, he was five levels lower. I had my legs on still, and he still KO'd me off 55 hit points. So yeah, nice one, man. And we may as well accept the sad truth now. Every kill I've had so far in the video, I probably just lost all the profit in that one death. That is how much Barrow's Gloves actually do cost me. But when I make videos, I'm not going to use, I'm not going to like use rune gloves unless I really need to. But yeah, I need to go quickly um, pick up some more Barrow's Gloves. So back in a second, guys, with another fight. Probably get a few more fights. Oh, and he also needs to pick up a new D Mace as well. So yeah, give me about five minutes. And we are back. So everyone needs to tell me now what is wrong with this clip. Yeah, it's kind of just like the last commentary I made. They're just the same. It's just. The same people who are actually here, I mean, I just have to keep fighting the same people over again. They're all Darokers, and I don't like fighting Darokers, because I, I constantly die to them. I mean, they're... When I rune fight, I prefer... Wait, one reason I really prefer rune fights is simply because we're in identical gear, hits go back and forth, we have a fast-paced fight, and it's interesting to watch, and it's interesting to commentate. Darok's 0 0 is 500, and yeah, that's just kind of how it really works. And obviously, I'm not the one to hit the 500. So that normally ends with me dying, but yeah, there's just, once again, no one here. Kind of why I'm going back to my reason of, uh, I don't know why I right click. I right click Dorokas because they're all my level normally. Well, most of them. But that kind of goes back to the uh, the time where I just want to go out of the wilderness for a month or so, work on getting 94 magic, so when I come back I've actually got vengeance, because then fighting Dorokas, easy money. Just quick Venger 50, no problem. But yeah, anyways, um, obviously I have to wait for another fight, so yeah, we'll, I'll come back then. Spot another mistake with that clip I was talking about before. I had no Quran ones. Okay. Obviously, just had my rant about how I always sent a dive to Darokers, and we find ourselves in another Daraker. So, good luck to this guy. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Having a feeling that I'm going to die, but obviously, I've just said Darox is horrible to me, but we'll see. If I don't die to the axe, then yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, he'll hit like a 44 now, and it's just like, well, then, see, that, was, that could have killed me right there. Don't know, I'm not eating. I've got a double eat, I think. I am very bad at this game. Okay, I officially vow down I am never going to fight a Doraka again until I get 94 magic. It is now vowed into this video. It will never happen. This is my definition of who I want to fight. This is the perfect fight moment. I love fighting people with identical... Well, minus the fire cape, but... No, don't go to the dark. No, please, no. Don't, don't say it. Please don't say it. Oh, that's not fair. God, please turn around, please turn around, please turn around. Oh, this is going to be cruel. Oh, my. And they all fight Darkers. I know what happens. The Darkers kill us all. This is a prime example of when I was talking about my Initiate Pure. 85 Combat, Abyssal Whipper. 85 Combat, I think I could have an Initiate Pure with about 80 Attack and 85 Strength or something. Fair enough, Strength's not that high, but think of how accurate I'd be. I mean, that'd just be smiting whips. But, yeah, anyways, there is a, everyone's a Darker right now, except for that guy, which is kind of lame, but yeah, I refuse. I'm, I'm not going to do it. And we actually finally get someone who comes and challenges me to a fight, so that is actually nice to see. We have a level 96 with a dragon skim, so we're going to underestimate him. We're going to give him the best of luck, and we're going to have this fight, so let's see. Please, right, I want a good finish to this video. This is probably going to be the last fight, assuming I actually kill him or if I die to him, and I hate dying on a, I mean, I hate ending on a death, but don't three hit him either, like, I just want to have a decent fight, at least a minute, at least a minute I want this fight to be, because then I can have a perfect end, and it's just, overall, even though I died like twice in a row, three times, I don't even know, I think I died twice, I can end the video on a high note, so, so it's good, but, anyway, some beautiful hits would actually be really nice to get, so let's just get ready on the Dragon Mace, it's coming up to the minute mark, so, let's get ready on the Dragon Mace, any like 38s or something that I may hit in a second, the Mace is going to come flying out, and someone's life bar may end up red and that means he's dead so yeah 21 not good enough because he's a shark and he's back on the same health 27 come on for the combo would be beautiful oh hey when they pop because i don't know when the combo is coming this is like where i should be hovering over my um 
XP, but uh, in this situation, my hits appear instantly, so... Like, even when my XP updates, the hit's there, so there's no... I wouldn't get any faster, but in situations where they actually prep pot, then, yeah, I need to be ready for it, so I don't actually know why I went for the, um... Trying to whip a 60 there, but you never know, you never know, so, yeah. I don't think I'll ever hit... Well, obviously, I won't hit a whip a 60, but, yeah. Man, these hits are... I'm saying atrocious, but in a second I'm gonna hit like I think he did a 36. I don't want to risk. I don't want to risk dying. I really. I'm, I know it's a bit of a safe, but okay, pull this DDS out real good. But yeah, I really don't want to um, risk dying at the end because that means I'm on the video, the end of the video, and I end it with a death, and I hate doing that. Like I said, so yeah. Anyways, this fight is starting to well, not really drag, but that's not. No, he did it again. I swear I clicked there, and makes me jump a prayer potions. It's not a good day. Should we go for like a 50 or something? I said we just go for it. <gasps> okay, never mind. Okay, we don't want to get um, too confident on this dragon maester. Oh, no, I'm poisoned. Darn. Am I poisoned? Yeah, I am. Oh, who the hell teleport this guy? Come on, we're in Edgeville Wilderness. Who the hell teleports in Edgeville? I don't think I've, well, okay, if I've got a glory, then fair enough, I might do, but... Tabs! You're like three steps away. You want teleports when you're coming back for your untradeables when some worm tries free freezing you. Yeah, anyways, <clears throat> okay, six poison. We had, if we kill this guy, super poison dagger. I could really use a super poison dagger. But I need to, oh, there we go. No miss clicks, 40, no, D-Mace, come on. D-Mace was doing absolutely beautiful when I started this fight, but, well, sorry, when I started this video, now it's just starting to go down garbage lane and it's just not hitting a thing. And this poison, I, I swear, if I somehow end up dying to this poison, I will, <laughs> you don't want to know. I will not be happy though. I hate when like, Poison is like a 6 on me, and then the D skim like a 38, and you're dead at 44 HP. Perfectly fine, but the poison decides otherwise. It's not a good day. I'm going to repot, because I want to try and get some hits up, because, oh, come on, max defense right now. Oh, zero for the combo. Okay, we have to sustain this fight. Yeah, I mean, this is what I mean. I hit, you hit so many zeros around this combat bracket that it's kind of like, it's kind of like the, the commentary, I need vengeance. I need vengeance to kill these people. Okay. Don't KO me. 46. Are we going to... Yeah, we survive. Sweet. Unless he KOs me there, which he won't. We've got the mace. Oh, I don't want to retaliate. Oh, what am I doing? Combo, 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 combo. Oh, man. Every, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Because people hit zeros on me. You have to accept the fact that if you hit zero for a combo, people also... See what I mean? If you hit a 33, then I would have died. I saw it coming. I saw the poison coming. I need to learn. I need to learn the times that poison hits, and then I can actually like time it in my head, like as soon as it's about to hit, so I can quickly get my health to somewhere more secure for if I'm gonna be hit like a 30 or something with a um, a D skim. Right, okay, now we have to be careful. Oh, fours all day, man. What are these fours? Right, I can whip him. I can easily hit like a 36 or whatever, and he's dead. Oh, fours, fours. What are they doing? Come on. I just have to wait, man. This fight's been last. Like, I said to myself, I don't want it. I want it longer than a minute fight. I want a four minute fight. 40 for the KO. That is what I'm talking about. That is just, that's what I mean by a good ending. You get a beautiful kill like that. A four minute fight to end it. Okay, fair enough. I was about to go, like, screaming at the fact that I haven't killed him. And it's four minutes later. But as long as we kill him, I don't mind how long a fight lasts. It's just when a fight lasts, like, behind the scenes to the video, the fight lasts, like, I don't even know how long. Like, say a fight lasts, like, Five minutes and then the guy runs it's just like oh five minutes of solid commentating waste but anyways yes that's been this video guys so nice kill we got two dragon mace kills and now one of them was actually spectacularly good so that was quite nice to the video obviously two deaths which kind of puts the video down but don't worry eventually a flawless pk commentary will come and yeah that last ko nice 40 so that's quite nice so thanks for watching guys i'll see you all in the next pk commentary and to all those that have been looking forward to videos here you go i hope you enjoyed